Food. Tonight, we continue to focus on the science of coronavirus. With no proven treatment or vaccine, the scientific community has turned to a promising near-term solution, use of antibody drugs. There are several companies that are developing this kind of approach. Regeneron is one of them. Joining us now is the biotech company's president and chief scientific officer, Dr. George Yankopoulos. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Explain how an antibody drug works. There are natural signals in the body that drive beneficial immune and inflammatory responses. Um, the problem is oftentimes these immune and inflammatory responses can become excessive and they can create more damage than good. And the hope is by using this antibody that specifically blocks this one inflammatory pathway, it can actually benefit the inflammation that's seen in lungs that's causing people to have the difficulties breathing and eventually succumbing uh, to this tragic disease. And Kevzara, which treats rheumatoid arthritis, how could it help with COVID-19? Some clever scientists in China decided to try it, and they reported that, yes, it looked like it might be benefiting the inflammation that you get in the lungs in this disease, um, and patients might be getting better. Those studies were uncontrolled anecdotal studies, and we initiated a controlled study to see whether or not this really can make a difference for patients. Let's turn now to the other coronavirus program and drug that you are working on, this cocktail. How would that work? When you give a vaccine, you are given uh, something that is, induces what is known as an immune response. Unfortunately, it takes time to perfect the way to get the body to do it itself. Uh, luckily, we and others have technologies that allow us to make these exact same antibodies outside of the body and then purify them and give them back to people. And it's as if these people have been vaccinated. When could this therapeutic drug be available? Well, the first potential treatment, we should be able to know as a scientific community within the next few weeks to a month or two, whether they are really working in a controlled fashion. And what about the antibody cocktail that could be a pre-vaccine? By June, we could be testing it. And once again, within a month or two, we might know uh, at least for certain patients, if it's safe and effective. So by the end of the summer, we could be treating hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. Well, Dr. George Yankopoulos, thank you very much.